cold stuff in the air. I can't stand up. Take it, go. I'm unwrapping it. This is incredible. You all know each other? I don't think so. Well, uh, let me introduce Anika Wilson, who's one of the long-standing Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And this is Greg Leon, who is the premier <laughs> chef. Like, he is. My dogs think I'm the premier chef. Well, so, you know. uh, one, one, of the, one of the best in Milwaukee. Nominated for some very prestigious very awards. Very yes. This is a nice restaurant. People like you. People like love Amelie. Oh, I love Amelie. Yeah, yes. me too. When did you start cooking? Um, 30 years ago this year. What are you making today? Well, I'm not making anything. I'm teaching you guys how to okay. make. Well, what are you um, we're going to make a Spanish make? tortilla. Ooh. And then we're going to make a chocolate and olive oil mousse. It has a little story behind it. So we'll start with the, with the tortilla and the dough? We should probably start with the tortilla. Do I need to say yes, Jeff, all the time? No. My wife couldn't show you. No, no, no. You need to what? Say, say yes, yes, Jeff, all the time. Oh, oh. All these eggs need to be cracked into a bowl and need to be whisked and then season with some salt and pepper. And Your technique. Huh? Our technique. I, I'm not here to judge your technique. Wait, Don't so is this. there a good technique for egg cracking? I mean, I no. As long as you're, the good technique is don't get any shells in it. How about that? I'm just nervous because like, be nervous. like a chef who's award winning. Somehow I do get shells in there. We'll pick the shells. J'ai fait out. quelques omelettes à l'époque. Can shells. I do it in here? Wait. Yeah, so like you just do it like this. Can I just do it in here first? Yeah. Let him do it. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. absolutely uniform. That's what 30 years of cooking does. Yes. Well, are, you, are you trying to separate them? No. She's, no. She's, she's, she's very nervous about it. And that's I'm what's so messing her nervous. Up. You're flooring. Is, is Greg making you nervous? He told me yes. he, he, he keeps saying, don't be nervous. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be cracking eggs in a bowl, right? Yes. I've never had no nerves. Look at that, see? Just uh, <laughs> like a shell get around her? Um, it's, it's called a spoon. <laughs> Did you go up here or the, no, the I, connection uh, between you and Milwaukee? Well, there, was, there was really no connection until I moved here. I, uh, in 2012, after being in San Francisco for 18 years, it was too expensive to live there. And I have a friend who lives here and he texted me one day. He said, you should come visit Milwaukee. And I was like, I don't really know what Milwaukee is. <laughs> uh, you want to really whisk it? So I came to visit. Um, I got here on a Friday. Well, it was summer, so it was beautiful. It was warm. I, I went and had dinner at Odd right, Duck. It's one of my favorite restaurants. And uh, they were like, oh, yeah, this is a really good place to go. Well, I own a restaurant and I never left. What year did you guys open? Melinda started serving food in yeah, so. December of 2013 as a pop up restaurant. And then uh, we opened where we are now in 2015. So this August is going to be nine years. Have you ever made a tortilla? A tortilla? So it's not the kind you get at a Mexican restaurant. Then I'm going to say no. Okay. This yeah. is going to be deep fried. So tortilla in Spain is basically an egg and potato omelet. Oh. With some onions. I, uh, I love to bring that to the door. Oh, can I get that? Look here it is! Oh, yeah! Hi! Whoa! <laughs> Chef Brad! It's good to see you. It's so good to see it's you. It's been forever. You look good. Hey! Nice to see you. <laughs> What's going on over here? Well, they're making a tortilla. Yeah. So let's heat the oil up. Yeah. Step right in. That's a lot of oil. Uh, Are you making fried chicken? Not, I wish. I have a good recipe for Do you? Where are we making it? fried chicken? So when you really start digging around Spanish cooking, you start to see a lot of Middle Eastern influences, mm -hmm. um, especially yeah. in the regions of Granada. And then Portugal, a lot of their cooking <clears throat> was influenced by the slave trade. Getting um, hot, I don't look this hot enough. One of Portugal's most famous dishes is actually a chicken dish, it's called Piri Piri Chicken. Oh, I love Piri Piri Chicken. The pepper comes from West Africa. Piri Piri. Piri Piri. Piri. And it's really good, it's spicy. There's a certain cooking show on. Come in! Door's open. Hi. 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 Hi.
So we're gonna cook this. We're gonna strain it to take some of the oil out. We're gonna throw it in a bowl. Yeah. And while it's hot, we're gonna add the egg to it. It's like a frittata. Oh, I'm doing like no, a black No, frittata is Italian. <laughs> this is an Italian. So do you have freedom to add whatever you wish? Yeah, it has to be just potatoes and onions. As far as I'm concerned, okay. yes. But is it a, a, a can to? Uh, no, because this one you flip over and you cook okay. on both sides. Frittatas, I believe you put in an oven. You do? Okay. Yeah. Flipping part seems like the hard part. Oh, you okay. <laughs> Yeah, you just, we put a plate on it, flip it over. Okay. We cheat. Grandma's or moms will make it in the morning. And then they have it set in the counter, so you actually either have room temperature. Grandma and mom do so much. Don't they? They don't get enough uh, credit. Did you say what the name Amelinda came from? I did not. It's a combination of my parents' names. Oh. So my father's Venezuelan, and his name is Amica. Mm. And my mother was actually from Superior, Wisconsin, and her name was Linda. Mm. In Venezuela, where, we, where my brothers and I grew up, um, Go, na you name your houses. And so Melinda was the name of the home, the, the first home my parents bought together. Um, and it was the name of the home my brothers and I were. Oh, uh, that's great. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Okay. I remember being in, was it maybe Leon? Okay. If you order a drink, well, you have to get that's how food with it. Yeah. And a lot of times it could be yeah, piece sort of tortilla. Yeah. Up until probably maybe 10 years ago, there was no such thing as a tapas restaurant. Right. So you would go to a bar and order a drink and they would give you a little something. Somebody says that one of the kings of Spain said you couldn't drink unless you had a bite to eat. Right. Some people say that they used to give it to you so you could put it on top of your wine so the flies didn't get into the wine. There's a thousand stories. Uh -huh. uh, set up a double boiler and melt some chocolate. Okay. Bittersweet chocolate. Um, it comes like chips, but it's uh, from Valrona. Can I taste one? Of course. You're good. Go ahead and dump them in here. Oh, yeah. I'm about to feel like sweating. Uh, move, people, move. Coming through. Cut. Off it up. Right. I need the scraper. Special? Yes. The scraper. They're tasty, but we don't want it to make the the, the, the stick. Ooh, yeah. It's quite an honor. When I go to work on Monday, I'm going to tell my staff who said that. I don't like to remember. You, it's you, an honor. It's, it actually was a trick. A little old lady at the top. The potatoes and the onions are hot. This will cook the eggs? It already starts to cook the eggs. I don't have eggs. Bercakap tentang telur, ayam didahulukan. Once this is hot, we're just going to dump all of this in there. And then with that spatula, you're going to start pushing the edges into the middle. Push it like, just like push it. Yeah, you're just like kind of scraping the bottom of the pan. So those are cute shoes. Oh, have you been to the restaurant? I have. Have you been to the restaurant? Once, years ago. It was a long time ago. Did you enjoy it? Loved it. Come back and see me. I would love to do that. So no. do you come out a lot? I try to talk to as many tables as I can. Mm -hmm. I found over the years that the guests really like that. Yeah. During the pandemic, when we didn't have any guests there, we were just putting food in boxes. I discovered that it's very important to me also. Mm -hmm. You sound very shy, and I don't really like to talk to people. So. <laughs> You have a ladle, smaller white one maybe. This? No, there's another small white one underneath this there. one. Yeah. Let me take that shot. Is it usually that deep? Yes. <laughs> no, it's okay. You're doing you're doing a great job. So let's let some like skin start to form around the outside. La nueva moda es una cocina tranquila. I was just having a conversation with somebody last night about Milwaukee's food scene and how we are all fairly friendly to each other and we support each other. The same is true in theater. And they, so they say, all three little theaters that pops up is good. We'll flip it over and then we'll slide it back on. The flip. Oh, oh, oh. oh great. That's juicy. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so dark for my taste, but no, good job. We need a mixer. I think okay. you told me you need a mixer. Well, we have sure. one now. The hand one, okay. Yeah. Hey, does anybody want some wine? DJ, what do they say in uh, Portugal? Salud. Oh, salud. Salud. That was easy. Salud. 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 It's one of the first things I learned how to make. It was taught to me by a gentleman who would then become a very good friend of me. Oh, it's the last one. Yeah, and so today we're kind of honoring him because he passed away on Monday. Oh. 
Hey, it's got what all is in here? Uh, so 16 egg yolks and uh, 200 grams of sugar. So the olive oil is the surprise. Oh, yes. You want to use a really good olive oil because uh, you know you want the oh, flavor. Got a lot of flavor. Yeah. 600 grams of chocolate that melted. Okay. 400 uh, milliliters of good Spanish olive oil. Have you ever had an olive right off the tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're horrible. Yeah. They're really bad, but it's really bitter. And I don't think I realize how long it takes to cook it. Well, this is done. I'm just keeping it on there. Yeah, it's right. how fluffy it is. Oh, And then we're going to whip the remaining sugar with the uh, egg whites. And then we'll fold that into this. And there you go. It's so beautiful. Got some tasting going Yum. on. You have enough ensemble. I do. So I have a sous chef named Trevor Carper who is, he inspires me to be better and you it's a rite of passage. Like now I get to uh, mentor and help these young cooks come up. Really? Is it good? Well, I mean, um, the, the young ladies did it. I, I had that. Young ladies. Young ladies. It's so good. <laughs> oh. Just crazy. Mm. Isn't it good? It's one of my lunch. It's comfort food. It is. It's Spanish comfort food. Yeah. <laughs> You explained a little bit about the moon's relationship to Richard, but the beater was going. Okay. 1997, he was looking for a young, unknown cook, American, to come and learn from him and take over his restaurant. In Spain. Spain, in Madrid. And I remember Richard picks me up at the airport, we go back to his apartment, he says, I gotta go ready for dinner service, come for dinner. And I was like, great, what time should I get there? Eight? And he looks at me and he's like, no. He's like, the restaurant's for dinner, don't know if it's till 10. Oh, they wow. very late. So at first I was like, okay, I kind of like that. And then I went, ate at the restaurant, hung out with the staff, went out, got home at like 6 in the morning. And him and I became really good friends and he became my mentor. I never took over his restaurant, but, you know, we stayed in contact over the years. And Richard taught you how to make Richard food. taught me how to make this. He had it at his restaurant. I think food is one of those, I think it's, for me at least, is one of the strongest ways to bring memories back, like mm -hmm. taste and smell. Oh, I remember the first time I tried uh, gnocchi, and it was mm. like six. My name is Ariana Bay. I am a also Milwaukee Hey! <laughs> Anything else? I'm just gonna ask the chef to put a piece of sliced cheese on it, and I said, we're not going to do that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a meal, it was a wonderful meal, which was one of our, you know, very memorable meal. My name's Gregory Leung and chef and owner of Amalinda. Um, thank you for inviting me today. It was nice to cook for all these lovely people. And thank you, Milwaukee, for always supporting this little restaurant that we out here. We really appreciate it. I'm Flora Coker. I'm afraid I got chocolate all over my mouth. I just ate most delicious chocolate mousse made by Greg. It was delicious. Hi, I'm Monica Wilson. I'm happy to be on Milwaukee Kitchen again for their all-star um, addition. <laughs> My advice for eating out is make sure that if you're going to a good restaurant, wear something expandable. My name is Didier Leflay. I'm also a Milwaukee Kitchen All-Star. Uh, <laughs> totally, totally. Glad to be back in Milwaukee and um, back in the kitchen. <laughs> um, my name is Marcy Kaufman. I'm thrilled to be here today because of Chef Fred. Right now, I feel stoned from the mousse and the tortilla and the walking kitchen rocks on.